Hello everybody. Um, we got a couple things we're going to try today. I don't know if Neko Fluttershy is going to join me or not. I sent him a message saying, hey, I'm going to record and um, so far I haven't heard back from him so I don't know what he's doing. Um, but we're going to try the White Castle Cheeseburger Castle Bites. They also come in hamburger flavor. I usually order cheeseburgers when I go to White Castle on the very rare occasion I get to go because we don't have one near us. So I thought I'd get the cheeseburger flavor. I believe they only have the two kinds at the moment. Or at least our store only had two kinds. Um, I found them at Kroger. Walmart doesn't carry these yet. But uh, Kroger does. So I found them at Kroger. And this is a 40 ounce package. So two pounds, eight ounces, two and a half pounds. Um, it's a party pack. This is the only size they had in the store. And this almost 12 bucks. It was, they're not exactly cheap. But when you need a White Castle fix, you know, you got to make do. The other thing we're going to try is the Make-A-Wish Wish Pie by Wise Pies Pizza. Cinnamon apple drizzle dessert pizza. That's a mouthful. But one of these little dealies. Found this at Walmart. And I want to say it was $6.47. Something like that. Um, it's a dessert pizza. Stone fired cinnamon crust. Frost your own design. Well, I just squeezed the stuff all over and it just kind of melted. This is what the whole thing looks like. It's very small. This is a standard dinner plate. But, I mean, it is supposed to be a dessert, so, you know, how many servings does it say? So, for a third of a pizza, it's 260 calories. So, you know, we figure we're going to eat half and half, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting this cold. Um, thought I was better, and then the weather changed. We went from like 60 and 70 degree weather to 20s and 30s and snow. <sighs> Luckily, it was only a frosting of snow or dusting of snow, so it wasn't much. Um, the uh, bites look like pizza rolls, actually, but they are supposed to be filled with White Castle goodness. So let's take a bite. I guess. That's what they look like inside. Now, keep in mind I'm somebody who doesn't like onions, but I love White Castles, which is kind of weird. There's a lot of onion flavor here, but it's White Castle onion, and I don't know what's so different about it other than the way they're done on the grill, I guess. Um... And there's, you can taste some cheese. It's not a super strong cheese. It's like American, but it's melted into the crust. Um, there's a little bit of meat in there. In a pinch, it'll do for a White Castle something. I do have a couple packets of the Dusseldorf mustard from the last time we got to use or go to a White Castle. Um, geez, that's been over a year ago these little packets tend to last forever so and for me a white castle has to have Dusseldorf mustard I thought I had bought it in a jar before but I haven't been able to find it in a jar at the store lately so I don't know if I imagine that or if it's just something they're not carrying here if it's something maybe they took off the market That makes all the difference right there. Yep. It's got to have a little little bit of the, the mustard. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> 
I guess he's not coming? Kind of wanted to get his opinion, too. But he doesn't seem to be coming at the moment, so I don't know. Um, I think I would get these again. I still have a few, um, my pan was full, I have enough now, I can have some, like, another day for lunch or something. I'm running out of places to set things. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't cut this because I wanted to be able to hold it up. So I'm just going to, well, if I can get a hold of it, break off a little piece. Oh, come on, I want some apple. Definitely need to cut it and not just tear it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so this has a little bit of the uh, glaze icing stuff and the caramel apple goo and some apple bites. If you look at the bottom, you can see that it's kind of a stone fire style. Not bad. A little expensive for what you get, but proceeds are also going to make a wish. So, you know, you're you're getting a donate you're giving a donation with each pizza. Um, there's a little story about a nine-year-old girl named Cushy. I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, she wanted to be a princess, so they gave her a princess wish. Um, it says each pie, wise pies will contribute one dollar for each wise, wish pie package sold. With a minimum donation of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <coughs> uh, your wish pie purchase will help grant wishes for children with critical illnesses. Um, and apparently, they also have a calzone and a what does that say? An uncured pepperoni classico pizza. I haven't seen those in the store. But yeah, I, I think um, it's fine for a, a fun little something. And yeah, you know, you're donating to a good cause. Make a Wish is a really great program. Yeah, I like it. I like the glaze, or the, um, like, cinnamon caramel, whatever, the cinnamon sauce. I like that. It's really good. This reminds me of the dessert pizza we used to be able to get at CeCe's Pizza, but the one in our area closed, so we can't get it anymore. But, um, that was a good deal. Pizza buffet for, like, six bucks. It was great. They were in a college town, so maybe that was why they went out of business. College kids eat a lot. <laughs> we would have been there all the time if they would have been in, in existence when I was in school. Anyway, I think both things are good. They're not great, but they're good. Um, you know, if you don't have access to a uh, White Castle... These are a fun little thing. You get enough of the flavor of a White Castle to, you know, kind of tide you over until you can get to one.
the um, apple pizza is, is fine. I really like that cinnamon sauce on there. That's really good. I think maybe if they would have coated the apples in the sauce instead of just sprinkled the apples on top, it might like come together better. But not bad. Not bad. Um, definitely worth the donation. I don't know that I would get it a lot. But as a one-time thing, I, I'm fine with it. it. It's good. The uh, White Castle Bites, I'm probably more likely to buy the frozen White Castles and do it that way. But if you want something quick and easy, you can throw a plate of these in the microwave for a couple minutes and you know, have something to eat, a little snack. I did them in the oven. I think I overdid them a little bit, but that's, they're still good. Um, and if you happen to be able to get the Dusseldorf mustard to dip them in, that's even better. Uh -huh. So now that I re keep repeating myself, <laughs> I think I'll uh, let y'all go before I start coughing again. Because it's, it's not fun. Anyway, um, that's really all I have for today. So remember to do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads, maybe. And I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.